Hi, I'm Nina Boski and welcome to Life Bites, where each and every week we'll get you inspired in the areas of life, business, and media. We'll help you dare, dream, do, and be so you can get out of your head into your soul in order to tune in and take a bite. This week, we're getting you media inspired. Hi, everybody. My name is Nina Bosky, and welcome to Life Bites Media Inspired. Our next guest, I would just say she is the wow factor. She is an entertainment and media entrepreneur. She's a business consultant. She's a fabulous speaker. She's a fabulous singer as well, an entertainer. I would say that for sure. But she's also the CEO of a new tech platform, social media, it has going to have a major global impact. And you're going to say another social media company, what? And I'm going to say yes, because it's called Wow You Now. And it's going to make an impact. And it's very different than anything you've ever seen. So with that, I'd like to welcome to the show, Lynn Rose. Hi, Yay. Lynn. <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. Woo! Hey, Nina. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Well, you know, uh, I've always said this about you, but there's there's people that kind of come onto the stage, come into a room, and they have that extra something special, that wow factor. And I've seen you do it in bringing people together, leading crowds, singing, etc. So the fact that you're doing wow, well, you, you know, wow, you now, I think, and it also has a, a backup story too. So it didn't just start with wow, you now. So before we get into what the platform's about, let's back up the story. How did you become what I call the wow factor? How did you get into wow? <laughs> <laughs> and people are like, what do you even do? Like yeah, they don't yeah, even yeah. give yeah. context, yeah. right? So <laughs> just to give a quick little back uh, background story. So there's a little bit of context and then I can go maybe into the how, yeah. how to the wow, right? But, yeah. um, <laughs> so I come from entertainment and media. So Broadway, TV, film, open for a lot of names, sung around the world, shared the stage with a lot of, you know, various names that you'll know. All right. Stevie so share, Wonder. Yeah. Yeah. Stevie Wonder. Go ahead. Yeah. Share those names. Meryl Streep and Earth, Wind and Fire and Matthew McConaughey. And I mean, you, you know, Deepak Chopra, Tony Robbins, et cetera, et cetera. It's a long, long, long list because it's been a long time of being out there. Um, and then I transitioned into personal professional development and I, it came from, which we'll tell kind of the backstory because you look back and you connect all the dots, right? But I came, but I transitioned into personal professional development initially from a um, nationally syndicated radio show that I started at the ground up, became nationally syndicated on personal achievement. And then I got to then interview these greats that had, during a really tough time in my life, had really been part of what pulled me through. And then I ended up getting mentored by them and then forming my own programs and then, you know, being out there all the more and in doing corporate events at a high, higher level, having these programs, working with these different leaders, all these different ways of being able to express, to be able to bring our talents and gifts, but also our passions. And, um, and then the story, which we can get into a little later, but what eventually led to what we are creating and launching now, not creating, it's created, but what we are launching right now, that is literally those doors opening uh, and launching to over 200 million in reach, uh, the wow you now. So that's kind of the context. So people have that. And if you like, I can tell a little bit of the, the backstory because isn't that what yeah, runs everything? I, I, I think it does. And I also think that sometimes, you know, you can walk into a room and wow people. And people think just as being an entertainer that you are and being media and transforming lives. I know even as a coach and trainer myself, sometimes people think, oh, you got it all together. Oh yeah. No, nothing ever happens to you, <laughs> Nina. And I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm called, called being human. <laughs> yes, it does. So I think the backstory for this, I think is important too, because I would imagine that many people, when you walk into a room go, she's got it all. <laughs> I love how you, you set that up. It's like, yeah. And if we can just see the person behind the curtain, right. You know, all, all that led to there, or all that might also still be going on because we are human. Um, yeah, no, it's been a road and continues to be. Um, so, but, but from uh, just, a, and we all have our story. So I honor that everyone has their story. So but I think it's helpful. We hear them because we realize, okay, we're not alone. 
right? And so in the earlier days, um, I, I know I came out of the womb wanting to just make have everyone be happy and being fully expressed. And a lot of us are as kids. Some of us maybe aren't as much, but you know, a lot of us can be like this and then something happens and you start more and more closing in or shutting down. Well, for me, I had that in extreme. Um, my, my parents separated. It was particularly hard on me at the time. My handwriting changed overnight from one night to the other, from per picture perfect to illegible. Um, but, you know, that's just uh, half the population goes through that. Well, my dad, I loved my dad and he was a Renaissance man. He was a jet fighter pilot. He wrote poetry. He wrote articles for the newspaper from his time in Marines. He played all these different instruments. He, you know, he was this just charismatic, gorgeous man. And he was a challenged, irresponsible parent. He was uh, alcoholic and, and I think, you know, young too. Sometimes people are finding their way. And unfortunately, um, I mean, my end of my second grade year, he basically snuck in while my mom was gone away from the home. I was a latchkey kid. You know, she would leave in the morning to go teach and come back in the afternoon, you know, leave before we left to go to school and then come back and we'd already come back. So I'm like eight years old, end of seven, second grade. And out of nowhere, not towards the end of second grade, it's right before my birthday, right before piano recital, like two more weeks of school to go or something. And there's my dad and he'd been living in Michigan. We're in Baltimore and he's like a man on a mission and gets my sister and I packs up the car and leaves a note that says, Karen, I've taken the kids and abducted my sister and I. And we drove from Baltimore to Michigan, 10 hours going, what's going on, trying to figure out what's going on. And he just was like focused on the road. And then we were there in Michigan with him for a year and a half, not seeing my mom, always wondering why didn't she come steal us back? She was, you know, dirt poor <laughs> and also didn't want to steal us back and only have him steal us back. She wanted to wait for the courts to step in. Um, and, you know, eventually, you know, and also him being alcoholic and a challenged parent and irresponsible, even though I love my dad, um, you know, we'd be roaming around the streets like at eight, eight o'clock at night, just, you know, doing our own thing. We were, you know, as young, young kids. Um, well, eventually, though, the court stepped in. We got back together with mom. And interestingly enough, my dad started getting his act together. He married some other gal. He was starting to get his act together again. So I'm like, yay, life is getting good. And then in the end of my fifth grade year, before sixth grade in that little summertime, we got word that my dad, flying from one base to the other, had crashed his plane and was killed. And in that moment, I shut down from the inside. Because here I'm like, okay, here we go. And then, and I, of course, and I loved my dad. He wrote poetry to us. He was, you know, when he would show up, he was great. It was just those other challenging things. Let's see, life is different levels. It's not black and white, right? So, mm -hmm. um, and I always thought someday he'll come back over the hill. Someday that didn't really happen. But I couldn't cry. I could only throw up. And I just shut down on the inside. And, um, but I had talent. So it carried me through. So I was like, just all about controlling the outside. And, but I got, you know, TV and film. And then I got this Broadway show and I was doing, we were touring all around the world. And I was challenged during the Broadway show to manage how I was feeling. I was bulimic and I was also doing cocaine. Mm. And I remember I, 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 like about a year into this, this tour, I remember like, what am I doing with this cocaine? I stopped it. And I vowed I'd never do it again. And I never have. In fact, I look back going, oh my God, who was that? But, you know, and now I feel like I'm going to now start saving money again. I'm going to start getting my act together again, getting ready. And then we're supposed to have this next year of the tour going back to all these major cities with all these celebrities and all this stuff we're going to do. And all of a sudden we get a notice, four days notice out of nowhere, the entire thing is canceled. So here's another little rug pulled from underneath. Now that's like, okay, that's just a career thing, but it triggered something inside and then now I got shut down from the outside as well. Now I could no longer sing. I could no longer even barely get sound out. I, I lost all confidence. I got racked with those, those fears, those negative voices that are like those inner terrorists, if anyone yeah. knows what we're talking about. And, um, and I had to leave the entertainment industry for two years. And in that time, I cocooned, I healed, uh, but it was a process. And, and in fact, I went to OA. First, which is to deal with my bulimia. And that first day of OA, 
I stopped, but I had to go three times a day to get through each to the next. And then once a day and then three times a week and then once a week until I look back and went, who is that person anymore? Yeah. Like, that's just yeah. so not, you know, how mm -hmm. I think or operate. Or, but it took that cocooning and I hungrily just read every possible personal development book I could as a kid. That was my books of choice to get me through even that hard time as a kid. Yeah, I would read too. adult self-help books. Yes. You did too, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. See, we're in this for a reason, right? <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. But at end during that time, I would dare to show up to auditions, even though I was horrible. So I would show up and be like, if I, I love you. Like I couldn't sing and trembling and, oh, it's just painful to think about. But at one point an audition happened. Everyone in town was going to it. I was sick. I wasn't going to go. And I thought, well, you know, show up anyway. You're not going to get it anyway. And so because I was sick, I think the walls that were holding me back were a little, not as strong and something came out. And then I, I think that encouraged me and it, and it was enough for me to get a call back. Next thing you know, I got the, um, the booking and it changed my life. I mean, I toured around the country. Now I was also singing in a different way. I always wanted to sing that I, then I had sung before, but held myself back. And then I started coming more and more out of my shell. And now from a place of not just look on the outside, don't even dare at the inside. Now I was daring to let who I was on the inside come out and connect as I perform or as a person. And it's been a constant process year after year, layer after layer, dissolving more and more. And I always wondered, would I someday get into personal development, you know, because it was such a passion. And that's, you know, then what led to the nationally syndicated radio show and then getting mentored and all the things that led from there. And everything that I do has had the word wow in it, like the wow factor, the power to wow, <laughs> Yes, you know. <laughs> Now, wow, you now this platform, but wow, it's not just, oh, wow, you know, and it's an exciting word, which it is, but wow, I feel is an acronym for W-O-W -W, without walls, mm. without walls, like what's possible when we can dissolve those barriers to our connection, those barriers to who we're meant to be, those barriers to each other, to our purpose, to our fully expressing, when we can dissolve those barriers or know how to manage them. And let who we are to come out and express and make that ripple effect and everything else. That's where the juice of life is. Yeah. And um, so that is kind of a long well, context of, yeah, of how that all comes together. I think it's very uh, important for people to understand that you don't just walk out on the stage and become the wow factor. You're just not the wow you <laughs> now girl. There's everybody has a story and it's not always so pretty. Right. And you've gone through as a little girl having to navigate that emotional vulnerability and a lack of safety when parents are trying to work out their stuff. Right. You know, and then to tragically mm -hmm. lose your dad, that is a challenge unto itself that I actually could relate to, except for you knew your dad and I didn't. My I was eight months old when I lost my dad. So, you know, the, but oh. that that still is an impact. It was a void. Right. So I don't have that ability to look at a dad with a figure that I think when you're in a healthy relationship with your father, you know, you, the fathers can really give that sense of safety and strength and empowerment mm. to their little girls to allow them to feel confident out in the world. And, you know, both you and I, for different reasons, didn't have that, but it certainly didn't stop you. So let's talk a little bit. Or you. Yeah. Yeah. Or me either. But, you know, but sometimes it did, you know, like when you went away and I mean, I remember in media, I remember walking away going, I'm not going to do this. They just want the same kind of, you know, what stuff content. I can't do it like this anymore. And every time I tried to walk away, I'd be back in back and ground zero once again, going, okay, I just finally gave in to the fact that I'm here to help transform people's lives, whether it's through media or one-on-one, -on -one, but that is my purpose. Your purpose through your challenges that you had in your life, your talents that you have, because you're 
you know, you're a fabulous singer. And I don't know, you said you do you have a song you said that it was it was really, you know, kind of helping us we have to let go of some of those old walls in order to kind of bring forth who we are. And for those of you who have not heard Lynn sing, I mean, not only are you a, a really good singer, because there's people that are good singers, but you have that natural ability because we have a lot of talent in our our um, transformational leader space right i mean there is you walk into the room and it's like all of a sudden you're bringing people together and it's just a natural talent that you have had yeah it maybe started in entertainment but it's now moving and connecting people which i think is really powerful mm, thank so, you well and if there's time we can play the song in the end because it is like yeah. an anthem for transformation. it is an anthem that. All of us going through where we've been held back and then we break free. You know, it is it is a, you know, tells that story. And I think it tells that story well in song. So you have used <clears throat> WOW in your work. So tell us how you started using Without Walls in your work and what do you do uh, before we get to the platform? So talk, talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah, sure. And it, it's funny, like it happened. It's, it's almost like I look back in my life and I didn't set out or think I'm going to get intentional and create this uh, naturally syndicated radio show. And I'm, and if, when you look back in your life, you start connecting dots and realize you were kind of led there. Right. And I remember I just loved this station I would listen to, and I'm saying this for a reason, but I love this station. I'd listen to um, in LA local station that would play personal achievement radio 24 seven. And I remember hearing a show and I thought I can do better than that. In fact, I think I will. And I went, who said that? What voice said that? And I went to go figure out how to do it. And all these divine things started happening. And then I ended up just going straight into the uh, radio station cold with my little example of what it could be, my little cassette tape. And they took a little a chance with me and had me sign an initial 13 week contract. I ended up becoming second favorite show on that station and then got picked up by the national syndicate. So like that type of stuff started happening. So the same thing, the way that personal growth led and, and the way it all happened that I got mentored and programs happening. And then I, I was being asked, I had initially just a program on getting your goals with focus, fun and ease. But this one gal in particular, but a lot of folks were saying, share with me how you do what you do up there. I want to be able to do what you do. And I'm going, okay, well, uh, yeah. I mean, I was actually shut down at one point. I couldn't even begin to get up there. I don't, well, how did I? do that, right? I tried to figure that out. And so then I created a program and they, they would always say, wow, or the wow factor, whatever. And so I thought, let's call it the wow factor. And it was, you know, speaking from the inside out. And it was a hit from the day one. So it was about that. And it was later, as I looked back and realized, oh, wow is an acronym for without walls mm -hmm. because connection is what it's all about it's about letting your connection lead and everything else comes from there and where we get in our own way is when we think we've got to control how it's going to be said or come out or how someone's perceiving us and now you're putting up walls by doing that whereas when you just let connection lead it's this juice this divine flow that happens and then you can have your mind and everything else you wanted to to orchestrate come through. So wow kind of happened by accident in a way you could say, <laughs> or a divine accident, you know? And that's where it comes from. Connection is my number one driver. Obviously that was my number one life lesson and continues to be, right? And I'm I'm now with this platform, Wow You Now, is about how we're able to connect folks to each other, to support each other, even if you're on either side of the aisle, for the purpose of bettering your own life, each other's life and the world. And we do this in a way that's a win-win-win, which to me is connection, which to me is without walls, which is to me when you're on one side of the aisle or another, or you're a different type of gender or culture or whatever, you know, if we get rid of those walls at our essence, you know, we're, we're, we're human, we desire to better ourselves, we desire to live a good life, and why not also help others do the same? And so that's part of, that's the drive wow. with actually the platform for that. Yeah. And it really kind of is a really great pathway and a lead in to this platform, because if you look at the connection and the, the, the thing that technology can bring to us is a wonderful way for us to connect effectively and easily and rapidly, which I think is wonderful. But if we forget our humanity in that, that then becomes a challenge because there's a lot of people look at social media and they go, oh, it's just all bad and it's not all good. 
there's a combination. It's not, you know, sometimes life is in that shade of gray, but let's talk. We've been teasing the people a little bit about wow. You now, <laughs> what is this platform and why is it different than anything else that's out there? Thank you for asking that. Um, so we are solving a number of problems in one place. First of all, a uh, issue that has just been in the news everywhere and continues to heighten is the facet of the shaming, the blaming, the toxicity on these platforms and the hate speech and um, of course misinformations like rampant. But you know, they're the um, manipulative algorithms, how they're ad base driven. So they're also um, and sending inflammatory content, you know, because that's as far as they see it, what creates more engagement. And so what that has caused is shaping human behavior in a way that folks are now kind of being conditioned to come at each other. It's happening in our media at large, period. Yeah. You know, we've yeah. got these influences that have like said, this is the way to show up. And it's it's just so disheartening. And these different sides are doing it. So because they know psychologically, that's how they can all the more get you hooked in is if they make somebody else the enemy. If they like really heighten that, that's, you know, there's a yeah, like, very, fear, very fear based and fear drives a lot of public. People want to pay attention more, you know, your brain lights up. So I get it on one hand, but it's doing us a disservice because now it's so out of balance. Right. You know, so, um, yeah. okay. so and it's teaching our, teaching our youth and it's even shifting um, it's driving families apart. It's driving friends apart. It's it and and um and it's already been lonely coming out of COVID, right? You know how what we had to like find our well, our connection uh, with each other again. Yeah, but. and also you know I was just talking to somebody and they were in different different um you know uh, they landed on different ways of how they were going to deal with COVID vaccine non vaccine right and right it's unfortunate right. too. Because yeah. the reality is, as we move out of this pandemic, uh, families are destroyed, you know, friendships yeah. are destroyed because even if they've loosened up on maybe their thought system or belief system, so much of the damage has been done. And so now how can we move through this space in a platform like yours that is significantly different than what we where we've been? Because we're already getting very clearly on a media level, on a social media level, something's got to change because this is not healthy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Yep. And we're coming at a time where people are needing more than ever support in, in their wellness, in their health, in their mental health, in their mindset, in maybe creating a side business and having support in that or bettering your business. I mean, there's so many, we all the more are hungry for those tools and resources and we are in a place where we're getting inundated with a lack of trust because there's people that just decide they know how to use the right tools. Now they can do it but easier, much more than when you and I started, yeah. you know, so it's easy for anyone just to put up a signpost and say, I am this. And they aren't, they don't really deliver the goods or they aren't of integrity. There's even well-known leaders out there who aren't of integrity, unfortunately. Now with AI, boy inundated with how do you know what's the real thing or not well, right how do you know a whole other thing deal? you know yeah i mean that's a really big one you know because there are people that can be you know even leaders that can be replicated in an ai kind of format and if you think about it so much when you talked about misinformation where we don't have a lot of information that's factual out in the world because social media and news, everybody wants to be the first out there. They aren't checking their facts like they used to. I mean, old, I went to journalism school and, you know, we were, I remember I was a disc jockey before I went to college, right. Or it was when I was going to college and I almost didn't get into journalism school. Cause, Oh, we don't want one of those DJs that, Oh, you're, you know, they, they looked at journalism as a high credible, you know, part of, Oh, we are not looking for this entertainment girl you have to be a real journalist mm -hmm. well today it's it's completely done a 180 so for example if i'm lynn rose and i did something astronomical like you know something you know that was fear-based all of a sudden in two seconds it's going around the world and all of a sudden that becomes fact and that's not fact right yeah no nope. nope. so let's get to the platform what exactly is it so people can really kind of wrap okay. their hands around it Yes, yes. And I just want to say one other part of it. And I'll, I'll take us inside and actually show because I think that's important. Yeah. Uh, when you really see it and understand. 
but also the, another thing that there's people that like yourself, like other folks in our transformational leaders community, or these incredible uh, brands in biohacking or in these business brands that teach you how to, that are incredible resources that are of integrity, right? And, but it's hard for them to get past the noise. It's hard for them to really run their business and, and also drive them not from a place of buy my stuff, but out of giving to now lead to potentially next steps. So that's the other thing too, is that we, on the, on that partner side, we're getting to create an engine for, um, for those, those leaders in order to be able to serve and have their business get amplified and better monetized as well. So it's a really synergistic way. So what it is, is a, is three different pillars. One is that safe, non-toxic social ecosystem. So it's all the things like, as if you got a face, Oh, hello. It's as if it's like a Facebook for good. Right. And it's, um, you know, got the whole community feed and your profile and your groups and all of that. And no shaming, no blaming, no talk of politics because it's too divisive. Mm -hmm. And so you, we ha will have forums where you can talk about things on either side of the aisle in a facilitated conversation and civil expression of different viewpoints. But on the, on the, on the platform, we're holding that context with the community so that we create that safe space where our intention is how you can come in and wow your day your way. So, and then integrated. So that's the first thing is this social media space. The second is integrating trusted leading brands and resources and experts in the areas of mind, body, spirit, life, business, and world and world represents causes. And it's a whole all in one soup to nuts um, delivery system, whether it's pointing offsite to something or inside our system. So all in one place, users can have everything they need to better their life or business all in one place at their fingertips and free, 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 free. Now, yes, there's things that are free can then lead to paid and that's their choice, but we're making accessible. Uh, and then the third is the creator economy where we have profit sharing. So we give back to the community based on their engagement. Maybe there's a slider here. Let me actually start with this one. So you can see it's, um, so it's an integrated, it's a hybrid, right? And so we've got a slider saying various things that are coming. You've got little hot buttons here, and this is the, the, the six categories. And then this is like a Netflix style reels kind of way that you can see from our trusted vetted resources mm -hmm. where you might want to get your little nugget of information from. And then we also celebrate our users. So as they contribute great content, we also shine a spotlight on them. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And, um, and then you can also see like right here is like the personal profile. We have it gamified. That's what these points are. Cause you get points for showing up, liking, commenting, sharing out, or even receiving likes or comments that you then can exchange for programs and other things like that. And also have different levels that unlocks different things, but in wow, your day, your way, it's like a, do something for yourself, or something that's going to ignite your day in any of this in these areas of interest. Okay. So let's say you go and check this out. Now you're going to check the little video out. Um, I'm going to stop that. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, or that's something for yourself. So let's say you got that little bit of inspiration or education, where that might be. And then in the community feed, what's something that you can contribute or something you want to just post to the community. So something for yourself, something for the, that world around you, those people around you, and then share out something you think is great to share. Let's say it would be, uh, let's see, let's this right here. Right. Okay. And then something you share to the world. All right. And then as you would see here, and I'll just show how this works. Right there, you can see at the end is my little referral tail. So the entire platform is coded so that anything shared out, whoever comes in through that share and then registers into Wow You Now, which is free, they get tagged to you. And now you will ongoingly get a piece or percentage of profits of whatever's generated off the entire in platform through the people that you've brought in just through you sharing. So there's like this way that we're getting to make this a win-win and create a safe space where we are incentivized to connect, to collaborate, to grow and to better our world and to have this be your tool to make that happen. You know, in, in world, which this to me is what gets me super excited, what we can do for causes 
Like this is one of our causes and they have 18 different NGOs, over a hundred million in their databases. And as they want to send to their own post in Why You Now, which they are doing anyway, now they're getting to, but they would do that anyway, but now they're getting to tag all those people to them and they might be in on the platform and, and see uh, some education that you have that they love that takes to next steps that they purchase. Mm-hmm. And now that is they're in danger. will get a piece of that or uh, all the other ways that might be in here that they get a percentage. So it's a way that's going back to um, the cause or the expert or whoever has shared out, but it's getting to also support causes. We also have the thing coming in phase two. It's not here yet, but phase two, where to the left of the like button is the wow button. That's dollar for dollar tipping and currency. So someone's loving what they're doing to save the rhinos. They don't just hit the like button. They just drop up, you know, one or two dollars worth of wows. And those micro transactions add up in a macro way. And it's not asking for a handout. So just so we can break it down for people to really kind of understand this. So if I, I can purchase, cause I've seen this, this platform and it's still, you still are beta testing right now, right? So it's still, it's still, it's out there, but it's still beta testing. And you're going to go to the second la- layer of this. Is that correct? Did well, we call right? it beta mode because we have done a concept. We've been in beta testing. Yeah. We're now actually into our beta launch. Beta okay. Beta launch. Okay. So internal beta sure. launch. And, mm-hmm. and for those of you who are listening to this after the fact, it's probably out there in the world, 200 million people, just by the way, that they're going to be reaching. But yes. let's let's back up the truck a little bit so people understand, you know, that they can benefit from this, et cetera. Because I love the factor of it's like, oh, you can purchase wows, right? And I, I let's say I really like Lynn and she gave me some free con- content. I can tip you with a wow. Is that correct? Is that kind of how it is? Okay. And so like all of a sudden I'm going to tip you a a dollar or $2 and it's dollar for dollar. So you buy these wows and you can, that's where the wow factor comes in is because you're supporting the things that really mean something to you and have a purpose and passion in your own life. And then anybody you bring into the platform is also, you get a benefit from that as well in terms of a percentage. Do I get that right? That's right. Okay. Win, win, win. Absolutely. <laughs> Including the wows. You know, the way it's structured is so that, you know, if, they, if someone you write in and bought a package of wows, you'll get a percentage of that. I think one of the biggest challenges, you know, that we're experiencing, and this is why I like this platform, and this is why I want to support you and support the the platform itself, is because you look at something like a, a Facebook, there are metas, they're called uh, that just got hit with a seven, what is it, a $750 million lawsuit for privacy issues, right? I think mm-hmm. that we need to be more conscious and cautious about what we're giving our freedoms to. And, and yep. so speak to that a little bit in terms of how your platform operates in terms of integrity and value. Cause I think people are going to be much more mindful, you know, as we all start to wake up here to the different frequencies and, and things and misinformation that all of us are saying, Hey, we do want a better world. We just don't know how, <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, and that's also part of how do we really make this a global change engine? How do we really, you know, make this as intended? And part of it is the way the business model is set up, we're not ads based. And if you think about Facebook ads, Instagram ads, you know, you start getting where every other thing is an ad on there that's going through your feed. Sometimes I like it, you know, I'm like, oh, I want to get that thing, you know, but (laughs) but, four items later on Instagram, hello, I just bought four things I forgot about, but okay. (laughs) Yeah. I know, right? What, what? Oh, I forgot I ordered that when it shows up on your doorstep. Okay. Right. But it's because it's ads based, they do things in the manipulative algorithms where they choke off your reach, or at least, you know, us wanting to reach our own people that we've got gathered together in a group or, you know, as those who do business and use social media within business, make it so hard to do business unless you're going to do paid ads. Whereas for us, we have integrated those who are, who would do business, you know, as a featured partner that we're shining the spotlight on, then it's not like, Oh, go click my link up here in the bio. And then it's hard to take you off there. It's actually integrated. So it's all within here. And it can be a gateway to click to something off site that you have, if you're an expert, but this is a way that we're getting to um, really serve the folks who do business on here and the users. And we're not choking off one's reach, but also we're not, we're not selling your information in order to, you know, have better ads or have that type of thing. We, because that's not how our business model is set up and we honor the privacy. This isn't about, oh, let's get all the data and now go sell that to, 
to, you know, sell your information so we can make money. Now there is no, as a platform, there is a facet of it to where you do have, you know, like we do have targeting as far as within our platform, someone is going to be doing something on fitness. They want to speak to folks who have interest in fitness, right? Yeah. We're not, but we're not selling that. That is part of now where they realize, okay, in this expert we're featuring, let, let the folks who are, have interest in fitness know this fitness thing is, is going on. It's not, a, and not from an ad place, but from a giving place. Yeah. Yeah. From a giving place. I think that's really important because, you know, the other thing that I think that where social media and the companies have, have done a disservice to its people. I don't know about you, but when I first started on Facebook, let's just meta Facebook, but the original Facebook, I mean, I built my page, my business page like that 40 grand, 40 grand, 40,000 people. It was, and I had a lot of engagement and then it was like mm. almost overnight. Yes. It just went like this. Yep. And it, it's, 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 you know, you spend so much time building something up and that's the problem with an IP, you know, is that, you know, if now you built this up to this place that you've gotten it and then all of a sudden they change the rules. And so I think one of the things that I think is important in a platform like this is how is this different value wise? And I think that's the important thing because you know, people are a creature of habit. So I love what I saw, which is you're going to share it out in the world. So you're not saying this is going to replace Facebook or Meta or Instagram or Twitter, but what it is going to do is be a great complement to the communities that you want to be associated with to wow your life, you know, and mm, I think that's powerful. Yeah. And nurture your community inside of here too, because this yeah. is a, a safe space to do it. You know, and uh, um, you won't be attacked for, you know, yeah, for whatever. (laughs) I mean, I think that's always a a a challenge. So here's the other thing that I think we have to address here. So it is Mm -hmm. in beta mode, and you are getting ready to reach about 200 million people. I think the thing that I would say probably is your biggest challenge is having people migrate and start using the platform organically so that they start growing this community. Is that correct? What is, what is the challenge in, in building this up now? Well, I wouldn't say so much a challenge because of the way this is created. First of all, we have people hungry. They're hovering, they're waiting to promote because they can promote to their own post. It's not about, in the way it works typically in promotion, people are promoting to somebody else's page and then maybe they get a percentage of what's sold there and it's something that's being sold. That's harder to promote. We're free. <laughs> and also you could promote to like, for instance, we, I'm, I'm a part of a big community of digital marketers and digital marketers have what they call funnels where they're taking you leading through steps of stuff that they're giving you or something maybe that you bought. And then the next steps of going to another step of buying, you know, digital marketers have that. Well, as part of their process engagement, they go, hey, download my thing, whatever that thing might be, a PDF, informational thing, an audio, or go see the video here. They can drive them to wow you now to download it or to see it. It can be part of what they're already doing. And now they're leveraging their their own promotion to their own stuff. They're getting to leverage those people beyond whatever they were doing within that funnel. Now those people that come in, it's going to create a passive ongoing rev stream for them. Yeah. Ongoing. Yeah. Because those and people so, start using the platform and whatever they're interested in, it's kind of this returning effect that it's not just, it's the ripple effect that you were talking about even prior to our interview. You know, you're talking about this ripple effect that happens and, you know, we're having a ripple effect from the pandemic. We're having a ripple effect of what's happened in technology. Um, This sounds like a wonderful platform for people to really wow their life. Let's talk a little bit about what they can expect in terms of content wise. We saw the profiles, but let's say I saw on there, there was Ariel Ford, right? Ariel Ford is a a big love expert. So if they were interested in finding love or keeping love in their life, what would Ariel be offering on the platform, for example? Well, that's a great idea. Um, Let me just Share, show you Ariel. Um, now, just b- being being aware that right now there's certain things that are coming and changing, and literally in a matter of weeks we have a whole new directory. But right now, for in this pre-beta way, we're going to here, which is just a drop down, so I can reach it faster. And then we've got Ariel, and this is a gateway, the channel of all things Ariel. This is um, 
and she's one of our featured experts. So she's on the front, you know, front page. I'll come back to her. Actually, you can see on the front page as you scroll, you might see, okay, there she's the little highlighted feature to now go check out that little nugget, how she can be found. Sex All of our save features. your life. I like that. That's good. That's a great catch. I know <laughs> that's going to be a fun one, right? That's so fun. So yeah. So, um, but I mean, this is one way that she's being found and, you know, also people decide, let's say they go into just see what's been posted that day from the various trusted experts and they can see what top of um, just what's most recently posted inside or even go into their more, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, smaller categories. Mm -hmm. Okay. But back to Ariel, because I don't want to spend too much time on that. I want to answer your question. So Ariel right here, as she has these um, subcategories that people can decide what they want to explore. And let's say they decide to go here. Oh, I'm going to get a dating guide. Well, now the folks that we've driven to her, um, I get to discover, oh, the dating guide are now going into her internal world. We are integrating the business. This isn't like hit my link in my bio. Now I go to the link in the bio that takes me to a link tree that then takes me to a place where you can get a free guide. There. It's all just right here. Yeah. Right. And then inside of right now, even though this is going inside her world, she's getting to process and bring those people into her, those who are interested into her yeah. own world. Right. Mm -hmm. Now that's pointing off site. This is about her new book. You know, I can show you that real quick. Hopefully my signal will work well. Looks like signal, but there yeah, we go. Yeah, there okay. we go. Oh, yeah. There, that's, yep. Yeah, her new book. And then this is videos. And uh, so that's all her. Dip She's now on site leveraging our video engine, which is very smart because we have a lot of different ways that gets to serve both users and um, the featured partners like Ariel. So people can go, well, let's see which series might I want to look at. Let's say I decide to look at find love and keep love. All right. And now um, what is the soulmate? I wonder if the sex one's in here. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. So then they go click on it and then up will come the video as it starts to play. But I'm going to go ahead and stop that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Okay. And then it, one will play right into the next. It can be a whole series. It can be a bunch of different ones. Um, there's different ways to leverage, by the way, like um, for users, it's great because they can just go deeper and deeper inside that one expert that they're loving or what they're seeing. Um, for the expert, it's great because it's taking them deeper and deeper into their world. But I was going to show you Awakening Giants. This is their channel, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, this whole thing here as well. And when you go into the uh, episodes, what? I just want to make sure it doesn't start playing. Okay, good. <laughs> you can see there's gated content. And now yeah. they're giving free, 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 but then they've got the rest gated to either members only or to then, you know, um, unlock the rest of the series, whatever that might be. And it's a way that they're getting to give and have a lot of good stuff, but then more higher level stuff, they can just naturally have free lead into paid. And that's just, you know, one that's also way. There's like, a number um, of prime, like prime, Amazon prime, you get like, you might get a free season, free season one, and then season two, three, four, five, and six, you have to uh, pay. Ah. Up time. So, you know, it's kind of like a similar kind of philosophy in the, in the, in the reality. So you're getting content for free, but you're not necessarily, you know, getting all of the content for free. What I like about what I'm seeing is there's a platform for, you know, people like us that are in transformation that can have their own channel and you can have your own body of work and offer different things like Ariel and other other people that have different life and business topics. But I think this is powerful. I think that it's going to be a, a huge um uh, ability for companies like yourself with AI coming down, you know, we're, 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 we're facing this humanity and technology crossroads. I think we have for a long time. And now what's happening is we're going to have to find a way to keep our humanity in the midst of all this technology that most of us can't even comprehend yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I think it's, yeah, very, very well, powerful. we need, each, we need each other more than ever, you know, and we need to nurture community and we need to do it in a way that, um, you know, is supported and connected more than ever, like you said, because of what's going on. Um, I, I did want to also just show this one other thing that I think is really of value to both users and, and the experts. Okay. And this is where like it's a lot of different innovations. I hope it's okay. I'm sharing all sure. this. I just sure. you know, very, very passionate about it. Um, this is desktop version, but I'll show 
experts on demand. And then you can scroll through the various things that you might want to check out. All right. And I'll just talk through it. Okay. But this is where people can have their specific question answered or their specific challenge. Let's say it's someone in um, like in financial management. I'm just making that up. Um, Hema Reddy is amazing. All right. And she's great at like the financial range, uh, financial. And you have a specific challenge. You can type your challenge specific to you or your specific question. But instead of having, all right, <laughs> you know, and actually one other thing, which is really cool, because we have so many different ways that we get to serve both users and partners, meaning the featured partners. And this is one of those ways. So especially with where we're headed, where people may have challenged income with recession or other things, and they might have even all the more some specific challenges or, or questions. And this is what we've created. Now, this is um, just a little example of some of the you could look for on our page and experts on demand. I'll say a little bit about what that is. So let's say it's in the world of, of finance and you don't want to have to <laughs> put out all this money and see if that's going to be working for you as an answer to have a whole session or whatever, but you just want this little question or challenge answered. You can uh, pay this little five minute nugget of getting a direct one-on-one -on -one answer to you from what some of these leading you know, experts or resources or brands. And so you just pay this little bit, whether that's $25 for five minutes, or depending on the expert, maybe it's $97 for five minutes, but you're not having to pay $1,000 for an hour session. And usually most of those folks don't do just one-offs, they do packages. So this allows them to just get a little, little bit of their answer, directly answered to their thing, type that in within 48 hours, you know, the expert's getting pinged, they give their answer, it gets sent off. And what's great is like now that user is getting that address specifically for them, maybe they want more from there. Maybe that's like, wow, I really like that. Okay, I feel comfortable taking the next step and getting a full hour or I take the next step exploring doing a package or a, a, I mean, maybe I want to go and explore their group or whatever that is. So it's a great little synergistic way that serves both user and expert getting to get that you know direct support you know, I'm but gonna, in a little bite size. I, uh, yeah, bite size. I'm going to tell you because I have to tell you there are times and not doesn't happen every day, but when it does, sometimes I'll get ping. Nina, do you have a quick moment? Nina, do you have a quick moment? Can you answer this quick, quick question for me? And so the reality is, is you don't realize that if you get that done 10, 15 times a day, that's a lot of time, you know, so you that gives somebody a specific avenue. And sometimes you just really do need that little bite, that little, hey, yes or no, should I or shouldn't I, you know, if I, if I get married at this this time, and let's say, uh, I don't know if you're going to have astrologers and people like that on the on the platform, but yeah. things like that really help shape you know, getting those answers quickly, specifically if it's detailed. I think that's a brilliant, brilliant idea. So where can they find Wow You Now? <laughs> and I just want to say for you, actually, what you could do too is for the private people where you wouldn't want to say, hey, go here and charge and pay for a little direct answer. You could set up one that's a private way that um, <clears throat> that you point to that link and, that, and maybe they'd get points for asking or whatever. And it's free, but it's set up in that structure where they would just write out what that is. Then yeah. you answer and send it off to them in a quick little video answer and you're not having to get pulled or now have to I no, like that. that. I like that. Yeah. That's a great, yeah. that's a great idea. And the fact that you could do that for transformational people or anybody that is in the field of services like this, that would be great for this platform. Cause I think anybody that's either watching or listening to this platform, you, the public that are in need of this content, but also for transformational people that are there, whether it's financial services, life, business, et cetera, or wanting to make an impact or, you know, a charity or something out there that's making this big social impact to have something like that i think is it's really powerful because when i give to a charity i always think i have to say when i think about the other social media networks i go how much are they keeping <laughs> you know what i mean so it's always uh, yeah. that level of you know is it getting to the people that you want it to get to so i think having companies that you associate with that have a a conscious and a, a conscience and and really being able to align i think that's where the world is going to you know we're going to have these communities of people that are even if you're not like-minded you're like-minded in terms of not having all this negativity in the world mm, yep yep and being a stand for impact so back to your question 
Yes. What was that question that you that asked? Is, so I can my, answer. Qu my question was, how can they find Wow You Now? Now that we've led them through this avenue of, wow, isn't this exciting? Where can Yay! They get it? <laughs> right. So Wow You Now with a U, wowyounow.com. And they can go and basically it's going to be first come, first serve once we open the doors in general to public. And so you can basically reserve your, your spot that you'd be some of the first in once we open it up to the general public. Right now we're internal beta. So our partners, they're sending out to their folks to bring in. And then we open it up to the public. And then, of course, you know, you can share out like crazy if you want. But wow, you now with a you, um, but also wow, your impact and I think that's important to share show because they, you can, mm -hmm. and then if it, you go to wowyourimpact.com, that's where you, then you can see this talking in depth about being a potential feature partner. There is investment involved because you're getting a whole all-in-one engine for business and ways to utilize that and audience driven to you and getting to be on the front page and, you know, but you can go through here and see all the various facets of what you get, how it works. And if you want to explore being um, one of the feature partners, so you that's, go to wow, that's your impact, wow, your impact, wow, your impact dot com. Yeah. So there's two different ways, whether you want to be a user on the platform and then we call our users wow makers because <laughs> we're here to be a tool for you to be a wow maker for the world. <laughs> yeah. Right. Or if you're wanting to be a featured partner, you know, then those are the two different places. Okay. Yeah. Great. Great. Wow. Wow you now.com or wow your impact.com. Okay. Correct. So both on the screen there for you. So check it out. A wonderful new platform, wonderful story, a life inspiring story. So as my last question, as you're inspiring the world, what inspires you? Oh, you know, it inspires me to see I, in a way, I don't know why this keeps coming up for me, but grit mm. and grit means that we still show up no matter what's happening. We just show up even when we're getting smashed against the rocks, let's say, or even when we're going, ah, oh, do I still want to do, but you have are so clear on, I want to be this, or I want to create this, or I want to do this, or I want to find a way. And you still show up, even though you don't quite know yet, even though you don't know anything, but you're going to figure it out. Even if you're, you know, tired more than you can ever imagine, but you still show up to the single mothers, to the people working two or three jobs, to the founder that's starting an, a new company, <laughs> to the entrepreneurs, right? You know, the grit, what it takes to show up and stand through the fire so inspires me. And that can be standing through the fire for being who we're meant to be. And, um, you know, I know I had to go through that, but when I see others that are, you know, willing to allow their beauty of who they are, their essence of who they are show up as opposed to now taking it on and being bitter or closed down. And even then I have compassion for that, but it's inspiring me that you didn't allow that to define you or hold you back, but that you kept showing up, that you kept coming forward. And there's a great quote by George Eliot, who actually was a woman and she had to find a way. Wow. I didn't be know able, that. Wow. She had to find a way to have her work be out there. So she went under this name, George Elliot. So her work could be accepted. That was way back in the day. And her quote is it's never too late to become who you might've been mm. never, or it's never too late to become who you really are. Right. It's no matter what's happened in the past or what ways you've been tossed or what you haven't known yet before, you can find a way, you can fully express, you can feel, even if it feels like for years it's been something else, we do have the power to make that shift and make that change. That's what drives me with Why You Now, when we're able to give people and bring people together to support that. And that's what inspires me when I see that in others. Wow. <laughs> I, I, I want to be able to support you any way I can. I think that we are needed in the world of today. Uh, the world of today, we're moving and shifting so much. So wow, you now, thank you so much, Lynn Rose. You're going to share a story as our way out of, of this, uh, this talk today. And it's called, is it called letting go or let go? Oh, the song. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, so the, the song is Let Go. 
Uh, And the subtitle of that is taking the chance to live. Talk about showing up no matter what, showing up. And even though it's scary and terrified, you still choose to show up rather than shrink back, right? Or whatever has happened or is happening around you, you are still holding through that fire. And, And then what comes on the other side? So this tells the story of that, almost like telling the story of when I was telling my own story, of telling your story, probably you watching your story. It is the story of transformation. All right, Lynn Rose, thank you so much. We're going to leave you with this song called Let Go. I lived inside a shell Locked myself away I hid from all the life Waiting there for me I couldn't face the pain Every day went on the same Now I have to take a chance Trust in what could be I wanna break wide open Oh, my heart is breaking open Oh, let go I'm ready to live my life Deepen into the unknown chance to live on the other side of pain the story is the same but now we can change the past play a different game it frees you from the chains when all of you is embraced and now all that will remain is who you're meant to be let your heart break open Ooh, your heart is breaking open oh. Five, four, three, two, let go i'm ready to live my life deep and into the unknown Yeah.